Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello. We're looking at the teaser trailer to Kalank. This is starring Varun Dawan, Aditya Roy Kapoor, Sanjay Dutt, Ali Abad, Sanakshi Sinha, and Madhuri Dixit. This is written and directed by Abhishek Varman, who also wrote and directed Two States. That's his one other film. But he did assistant direct on Joda Akbar, the Rithik mm -hmm. Roshan movie, and My Name is Khan, the SRK film. So he's got some experience outside of Two States. And this seems very, very exciting with the cast. Yes. So, what a cast, and it looks so epic as well. It says, set in 1945 in pre-independence India, Kalank is a tale of eternal love. Ugh. Here we go. Sounds exciting already. Wow. Stunning. Wow, I just got goosebumps. I know, so it's so pretty. Those are some packs, dude. Oh, hi there. Looks like he's a fighter or something. Ah. Jab kisi aur ki barbadi apni jeet jaisi lage. Well, that's pretty that's soon. soon. That's like tomorrow, it feels like. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh my. So we'll watch that and then we'll watch Avengers Endgame. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that scene where we both got goosebumps. Like, I genuinely got goosebumps I there. Did I was too. like, holy crap, that's super beautiful. That was stunning. And it wasn't just a beautiful set piece, it was also the way it was shot. Like, yeah. it was just very aesthetic. I feel like this whole film is just this very big spectacle, kind of like in the vein of the old great musicals, like old Hollywood or. And of course, classic Bollywood with the great set pieces and the beautiful costumes and the massive dance numbers and stuff like that. Just watching how beautiful it all looked kind of reminded me of the trailer to Devdas that we watched. Okay. You know, that, well, even that bigger, level. Though. Yeah, but like on a bigger scale, but kind of like very similar in, in, in feeling and, and maybe because the costumes are perhaps from a similar period, I'm not sure. I almost wonder about the behind the scenes of this all because Abhishek Varman, the movie Two States, from what I recall of it, was a totally different movie from this. Yes. And I almost feel like this was the film he had in his back pocket. Like, Kalank was the film he really wanted to make, but he had to prove himself as a director first. Mm -hmm. So he went and did Two States to get his feet wet and like really understand how to run a set. He's like, okay, cool. That was a movie, but like now I'm gonna go do the film I actually wanna do, which right. is this massive epic uh, film set before Independence, which is just, oh boy. That's a, yeah. that's a crazy, crazy uh, topic to, Wrestle. I mean, there's a lot of conflict. Mm. Certainly there will be some opportunities for us to learn things about pre-independence. I'm sure. Saying that it's a, a tale of eternal love, it kind of does have that Romeo and Juliet feel. That was exactly what I was yeah. thinking. Like they were two lovers from opposite sides yes. of the partition. Or even just two lovers who are different- Religions. Class, different religion. Like there's could some be anything. sort of conflict Maybe there. it's all three. Maybe. Right? right? This is a good teaser. Because <laughs> we don't know. Like, they've just kind of shown us like, I, a sense of the characters. But we also didn't see any... It says 1945, but I didn't see any British at all. They're, so. they're probably, like, lurking around, right. doing nasty things. Just hanging out. Just, like... You know? Getting ready to exit, you know? Getting ready to be jerks. <laughs> no Dongal 
for two seasons. What? No, it's not Dungal. Okay, hold on. What is it? Bagel. Lagan. No bagels. <laughs> no bagels. <laughs> you don't get bagels if you don't have wheat, okay? Lagan. Okay, it's Amir Khan, that's the point. No Amir Khan for two seasons. <laughs> no Lagan for two seasons. <laughs> no Dungal. <laughs> I was like, what did hey, the that, first for have some to do people, with wrestling? For some people, that might be just as bad as no Lagan <laughs> for two seasons. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Might be just as bad. Oh my. But anyway, this whole cast is beautiful. Yes. And boy's got pecs, man. Oh like, my. the the camera's looking right up at him. I'm like, holy shoot. I need to go do some chest bench presses some more. I know. I think I saw him in a dance number as well. And I, I've seen him dancing in ABCD. And I'm oh, just he's like, a good dancer, yeah, wasn't he? He's awesome. He's a yeah. really good dancer. And I want to see him dance with that bull now. <laughs> you know, let's see him do some ABCD with that. Anyway. Anybody can dance. Anybody Jenny. can dance, yeah. Yeah. I also like the look of Madhuri Dixit. Like, she just looks so regal. She's such a stunning woman. As they all are. Yeah. She has stature. She has experience mm -hmm. and has this like strength and resilience about her. I just love how regal she looks. Sanjay Dutt is an interesting addition to this. His haircut is the one thing that's, that was throwing me a little bit. Why? Because, I mean, I'm sure there were people who had short hair back then, but his haircut looks very modern compared to everybody else. Everyone else looks like they're from another era. Whereas Sanjay Dutt's like, okay, now he's also there. I mean, I'm sure what he brings to the table is going to be great. Yeah. Because what I've watched of him already has been awesome. Like, I like what he does. What he brings to the table is cool and, and feels genuine. There's that. It's just the haircut was like, oh, oh. that's a that's an interesting haircut. Varun Dewan's got that long, yeah, you know, like Fabio haircut. Well, not Fabio, but you know yeah, what I'm saying. not quite Fabio. Don Juan. Yeah. Something. The body and the wave and the... The, the surfer haircut. Whereas Sanjay Dutt has got like the kind of military looking haircut. Either way, whatever their haircuts are, <laughs> Alia Bhatt's in the movie and I really like her. Yes. She was also in Two States, wasn't she? So clearly Abhishek Varman loves working with her. And yeah. Why wouldn't you? She's an amazing actress. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Mm. I would put her in all my movies. I would just keep her around. Just to look at. <laughs> yeah, just to look at. Just to hang out with. She's got a great personality too, right? Exactly. Yeah. For she... chuckles and for... For chuckles and for aesthetics. Yes. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of chuckles in this movie though. You don't know. There could be some fun moments. You, just, you don't know. I mean, it looks pretty serious. Yeah, I mean, this trailer looks pretty gosh darn serious right now. This is a beautiful shot, even though it's an image of war, an image of a battle. It mm -hmm. looks so cool. Just the framing of it. It's looking up. You can see the, fra the, the frames. <laughs> You can see all the frames, you can, the, the, the windows. <laughs> you can see the flames in the windows and the people coming towards this one guy with the sword. Yeah. It just looks really cool. I really like the way that this is shot. And I personally, I really do have a soft spot for historical dramas. I think there's just something so amazing about being transported to another time that's different from our own. There's just differences in, in language, in costume, in the way people move. I love this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I de I'm definitely getting the feel you're talking about of that old school Bollywood um, epic set piece yeah. thing. Because you, you have so many extras here yes. who are part of these incredible looking, I mean, at least at a glance, these incredible looking dance routines. Because that, that's not CGI. Like, no. th that's, those are all extras. And that's crazy. They're all part of this. And I, like, I, I always am just floored at the idea of trying to coordinate all of these people in unison. Right. To get them to move together. <laughs> we'll put all the crap ones in the back. <laughs> the, yeah, put the, the really the good ones, ones in the front. It's like a dance class, No, you know? I'm pretty sure they're all really good. Like, all these people earn their way into these positions. Yeah. Ideally. So, <laughs> I, what is going on here? What are these people doing? It's a religious festival. Perhaps oh. that's Krishna. I thought this was like some kind of fantasy element in the movie. No, oh yeah, you, it looks like Krishna and maybe there's some Hanumans in the background. I'm not sure, you guys can correct me, but I've seen him before. Look at how they're slowly walking towards each other as arrows are flying by them. Our love our, is our shield. Our love is our shield. <laughs> Clearly she's high status, like look at her dress. It's so pretty and she's wearing white. Like you gotta be a rich lady to wear white clothes in those days cause like they would get dirty, right? I don't know, am I just making a really stupid assumption? 
I, I think I am. I mean, I don't know. There might be some symbolism in the clothes that they're wearing because she's wearing white because she's pure. Yes. And he's wearing red because he's passionate. Yeah. You know, passionate for Aliabot. We're gonna conclude this here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, you guys. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know your thoughts and your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments below. Check out Ashara Kirk, check out Jabby Koi, both on the social media, hoping that you'll follow us someday. Hey, hey. Please check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, interviews, and vlogs. I am Jabby Koi. This is Ashara Kirk. Peace out. Ciao. Why are you still here? <laughs>